So I looked up what other games Kaisa Takeshi has worked on. Apparently he worked on Glitch, this weird MMO sort of thing that I never played myself, but I heard other people were a bit torn up when it, uh, it eventually got shut down. Which is kind of the default end state for MMOs, so big part of why I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, something I forgot to show off is that if you leave Boy alone, he just starts to sort of wander on his own. An annoying thing is the camera doesn't really do a good job of following Boy when he's wandering around. Like, I'm not controlling this, he's just kind of doing his own thing. I am controlling the camera though. Partially. It doesn't really track him super well. I don't think his butt moves as much as his head does. Also, the, it's, the music's random, so the, the no be no be no be no be song that we heard here... Like, I think the first place you show up to always has that song playing. Um, I guess it's sort of the default song. And now that we've been here for a bit, I guess it's done with. Anyway, we've got we got we got Mercury to check out, don't we? M Morty, we got we got we got to check out M Mercury, Morty. <clears throat> and just one more planet, and then we'll show I'll show that letter that showed up in the end. I don't. I don't believe there's a way to actually see it more than once, um, but I have- I already recorded a video of it, so I'll just show that off. Oh, this is extreme purple. Oh, look at those, like, glitchy Rubik's Cubes! Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's like- it's like glitchy hell. Glitchy hell is my favorite anything. Look at this dude! Look at those lasers! Those- those are some good lasers. You know, we've seen many varieties of laser, but this is definitely my favorite. He's like a headless, like, pharaoh. He's got the pharaoh, like, headdress thing going on. He doesn't have a face, but you know what? In Glitch Hell, you don't you don't need a face. Who needs faces? I don't need faces. You don't need faces. Why don't you just donate your face to a family in need? Because, I mean, you really don't need that. It's raining thunderbolts! It's raining thunderbolts from, like, glitchy clouds. Oh, man, this is, this is amazing. Oh, look. It's freaking Disco Glitch Hell. That is my favorite variety of hell. Whoa. So yeah, the Mercury, pretty cool place. Pretty cool place. It's just raining thunder. Like, there's no rain. The, the thunder is the rain. All right, let, let's see some more. We gotta see more of this. Oh, we got more robots. They all have that like, I guess that one has more of a, like a Roman headdress. Hello, Parker. Are you gonna disrupt me? Are you gonna disrupt? Hmm? Hi. Yes. Yes, that is my leg. Do you want pets? Of course you want pets. Yes. Yes. Sort of unrelated to the game, but something that doesn't get talked about much in gaming is, you know, repetitive stress stuff. And I mean, if you play games, you're probably, you know, I mean, my entire generation is probably, you know, just asking for repetitive stress injury. But I've started wearing, um, Parky, please! Uh, compression gloves. Um, I usually just wear them at night. Um, and, uh, it, it, my wrist was really hurting for a week or so. And, uh, it's, it's really helped. Parky, please! There you go. Um, so yeah, they're cheap. You know, you just put them on. Either, like, some people say you're supposed to, you know, use them while you're working and stuff. I, uh, they, I can use them while playing games, but, uh, they mess with my typing too much. So I don't tend to use them at work. Uh, I found them less annoying to use than, like, I was trying wrist braces for a while. Um, it was itch, and they, they look silly, and I just, eh. uh, the compression gloves seem to have, at least within my case, you know, everybody's different. Um, I don't actually currently have like repetitive stress injury, but the the compression gloves they've they've helped with the uh, the sort of whatever annoyance I was experiencing. Anyway, Mercury is amazing. I don't I don't think you need me to comment on how amazing all of this is. I mean, if you do, I, I feel sorry for you. I mean, look at this. Just it's beautiful. And once again, this is stuff that's been in this game. For, for seven years now, and we didn't even know about it for the first six. Just It's just been waiting in here for us to uncover. Like, it, it sounds like the plot of frickin' Dot Hack or something. But it's it's real. It's just... Through community effort, we found all of this stuff. We found this creepy Eggman. 
which, which, I, I kind of, I'm kind of, I could have been okay without the creepy Eggman, but you know what? You better run, Egg! Freaking Egg. Um, but everything else other than the Egg is just fantastic. Like, look at this rainbow tower! I'm so, I'm so glad there's so many rainbow towers in this game. Like, freaking techno rainbow hell tower. The best variety of hell tower, in my opinion. Like, all the other hell towers are just... They're just playing. They're just, they just they they don't know what it means to be a true hell tower. I like how if both sides cling on to a moving object, the game just isn't really sure what to do with you. I love these clouds though. These clouds are amazing. I want these clouds. I'm not sure I want the constant thunder rain, but everything else about those clouds is amazing. There's an eggplant car. That's just the kind of thing that's just matter of fact in this world. Just you know, giant LED display. Oh, I just said LED display. LED, like, matrix trees, that's fine. Wait, LED display is fine. Uh, that's light emitting diode. I'm thinking of LCD display. That's liquid crystal display. I remember as a kid thinking liquid crystal would be, you know, the coolest thing ever. Though at the time, it was kind of dumb because, I mean, Compare a like at the time liquid crystal displays were really bad compared to uh, Like we were talking like calculator screens and like very cheap original like flat screen things next with CRT uh, And CRT still have some advantages like CRTs There's a native resolution, but they don't get blurring like if you set a CRT to a low res um, a lower resolution than native uh, it doesn't have the aliasing you know the ugly upscaling effect that uh, flat screens do. So it's actually pretty cool. Oh, this one has a face! Oh, what a good world. This place reminds me a lot of, um, what was that game called? Oh, frick. Electronic Highways. Uh, I played that a few, uh, a few months ago. It was a really cool, surreal, like, Doom-like game. Uh, not Doom, like, Doom without guns or enemies, like, it's just a Doom exploration game with really surreal visuals, and I, I really enjoyed it. What a delightful, chill planet. Good old Mercury. Oh, his head! Look at that! Look at his head! That is awesome. This is the best planet. This is... I'm, I'm not sure... I'm not digging this flute. W why do flutes exist again? I mean, they put a flute in the, um... In Bramble Scramble, or no, it's uh, Sticker Brush Symphony in Tropical Freeze, and it ruins it! It's just this awkward flute that is not in the original song at all. And it's not good, and it's just there, and it's loud enough that you can't really ignore it. It's just. Why is that in there? Oh, this is a good robot, dude. What is this? This is Topland, and this robot is in like a punk techno goth top. Oh, and he's dead. But in the brief moments, he lived more than most of us will ever live. Oh, and look at this green hell background. Oh, this is such a good planet. A good old, like, 90s cube vortex tornado. Oh, and look at those cube. Oh, this, this place is so good. I want, I want an entire video game that looks like this. Make 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 that. I want like Oh look the house the inside of the house is rainbows! Oh they shift, they move. Oh my gosh. I want the yo know, screw the the rotating blue um wallpaper we saw earlier. This G give me a wall like a house with these this is a wallpaper. Just very sl this is what smart home should be like. Like the ability to have just this slowly ever-changing wallpaper with just freaking awesome rainbows. that That's what smart home should be. Not this, you know, uh, I can't even think, like, there's just so much garbage with the Internet of Things thing. Like, oh my gosh, the, the mushrooms are rainbow hellscape. I love this place. There's this, in, there's this Internet of Things thing uh, on Kickstarter now. It's got so much freaking money. It's got like half a million bucks. Probably more by now, but it, it just it, it measures your how much water you've drunk for that day. 
Because, I mean, drinking water is the most difficult thing that anyone has ever done. I mean, l let me tell you, let me tell you my secrets. You see, what I do is you get a large container. Um, some might call it a cup. You get some water, you, you filter that water, you get filtered water. You make that water cold through some method. You pour it in the thing. Sometimes you might want some ice in that thing. And then you drink that thing. And then you fill the thing. Oh my god, they're transformers! The cars are transformers on this planet! Holy crap. Um, anyway, they have faces! This is amazing. They're, they're very indecisive transformers. Anyway, yeah, the secret to drinking water is you fill up a cup with water, then you drink that, then you fill it up again, and maybe you drink it again, you know? It's honestly... It sounds very difficult, but once you get used to it, it's not too hard, actually. <laughs> Transformers hell. This indecisive Transformer hell. Amazing. What a beautiful planet. But yeah, and it does, uh, like... I, I, I don't, I don't, it's like not a cheap thing either, I forget exactly how much it was, but like people are putting down big money, if you know, this moronic device that tells you, beep beep, please drink water, oh my gosh, it's like, are, are people like getting hospitalized because they're like, uh, water, people drink water, I don't drink water, and then they uh, keel over dead. Because, you know, they haven't drank water in, like, months. Well, he'd already be dead by that point. How long can you go without water? I think it's, like, two weeks? It's less than food. Though sleep will actually kill you faster than the others, but uh, it's very hard to not sleep. Um, your body actually does some really cool stuff um, in preventing you from being stupid. Like, uh, if you try to suffocate yourself, you'll pass out and your body starts breathing automatically. Um, you might, you know hit your head or something on the way down, so I mean, don't do it, but, uh, your body will not let you, um, kill yourself by means of suffocation or lack of sleep, unless you can, like, rig up some sort of device to, like, jam needles into you when you, like, start to fall asleep, but, you know, if you try to force yourself to not sleep, you're eventually just gonna, you know, pass out. Whee! I don't think we ever found out exactly why things die without sleep either, which is the kind of creepy thing. Um... Like, there's no, like, there wasn't an apparent physiological cause, unless, unless maybe they discovered, you know, since, I mean, research is always ongoing. Oh, this is such a good planet. I want, you know what I want? My, my dream game now is basically a world that looks kind of like this, you know, with more different themes, but, like, lots of different techno-y themes, and, like, Mega Man Legend-style graphics, and, and maybe even gameplay. I, I've always kind of wanted to make a Mega Man Legend-style game, um... I don't really have a lot of time to explore something like that. Um, th there's a lot of hobbies that I could do, but like, I, you know, doing the whole YouTube and reviewing thing, you know, kind of means I have fairly low time, you know, plus gaming in general, means I don't really have a ton of time for other hobby stuff. But if I were able to, you know, freelance or retire or do this full-time, or, you know, something where I have more free time than I currently do. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, yeah, I would like to look into game dev stuff, and I mean, several people have asked me if I, you know, do I make games, or am I interested in that? I mean, I am interested, but it's like, for one thing, I, I program at my main job, so I mean, g going home to program, like, it just feels like doing more work, even if it's, you know... So, I, I, I don't really even, you know, tend to do open source project stuff. Like, this This is my hobby time sort of stuff. You know, if, if I suddenly, f you know, found some more time lying on the floor somewhere, uh, I would be interested in making... There's a few ideas I have, like... I'd really like to make a shoot 'em up um, or a Mega Man Legend-style game. Which, I'm surprised there aren't more indies making Mega Man Legends-ish games. Both in terms of visuals and the gameplay. Because, like, I played, um... When I played Mega Man Legends 2, um... Uh, I was really impressed at how well this, this slightly random, 
um, corridors worked, or the, like, I think, if I recall correctly, the maps are all static, but, like, the enemies are slightly random, and it gave me this idea for, you know, like, roguelike Mega Man Legends, and, like, I'm kind of surprised that's never happened. And maybe it's just because, you know, Mega Man Legends was so... It's a slightly boring one, for this planet anyway. Just, you know, alphabet hell. Um, maybe it's just because Mega Man Legends 2 was so rare. It's on PlayStation Network now, by the way. If you have a PS3, PSP, or PS Vita, um, you can go get it. And I absolutely super highly recommend it. Um, there's some things... Like, I feel it's a little less consistently good than Mega Man Legends 1. There's a few moments that I'm like, eh, on. But uh, all in all, it, it's more Mega Man Legends, and th that's kind of all I've ever wanted. Um, Adventures of Tron Bon is good, too. It's, it's a very different game, but uh, I, I, I can't believe like there's not more people clamoring to make more games that, that look like that, because they're, they're freaking beautiful. Like there's, there's no nostalgia required. They, they simply look beautiful. Um, and Mega Man Legends 2 fixes a lot of the control issues of 1. But I think ignoring the control issues, I would still say 1 is a better game, but 2 is very... Like, we're talking a 9 versus a 10. Like, they're, they're, they're both great. And honestly, the control issues are overstated. Um, the combat is designed with the controls in mind. And there's a lot of good strafe lock-on action going on, especially in Mega Man Legends 2. Um... That's one thing I'm kind of surprised that nobody really seems to have, like, taken the strafe and lock-on sort of first-person, third-person shooter combat. Like, uh, it works so well for, like, boss fights and stuff. Like, uh, you would not think that Prime, uh, Metroid Prime, would control well, uh, but it does. It's so weird, and it's not first-person shootery, but it has the really cool dodging mechanics with the, you know, the lock-on and the jumps. Uh, it just works really well, and Mega Man Legends is kind of similar in that. It's mostly two. Like, the lock-on in one is, is bad, but you can still strafe, but you need a lot of room to strafe. There's so many good colors on this planet. I don't I don't want to leave Mercury, you guys. I don't, want, I don't want to. There's so much good on this planet. I need to protect it. But yeah, we're, we're a little over our 15 minute intended time limit, but it's not a hard limit or anything. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna peek at one more. Just, just, just give me the one more hit. And next we're gonna check out Venus, and I guess we'll read that letter. And I'll try not to catch too many feels while I read it. Oh, pixel rainbows! Hell yeah! Hell yes! See, this is why I wanted... What? Who are you? Who's this? Who? who I didn't... He's dead now. What just happened? I didn't know that was a thing. I was holding circle when I came out. Okay, I have to pick... I have to open another world and see if that's, like, just a thing. Imagine, like... I don't know, just imagine like a huge world just with air, like maps like this, like, you know, this aesthetic. I love it. And the colors on the rainbows slowly cycle through. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just want so much more of this world. I guess it is a tiny bit frustrating that, you know, I don't really get, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not one of those people that's like, it's not a game, I'm a nerd, but, um... I, it is a little bit of a shame that some of the stuff, you know, I think some of these aesthetics could work and, you know, a more complete, like, manually designed game that, like, you don't... Like, imagine, like, a Daggerfall-style RPG with, you know, visuals like that at all times. Alright, I'm holding circle as I come out here. I hope that I spawn another me. And if I do, I'm gonna have to see if there's, like, other button combos I can do. Like, did I accidentally activate two-player mode? I think the two-player is blue, though. Why did that happen? Why, why was there a different me? And he was controlling, like, identically to me. What was that? I want to do it again. Uh, I have to, I have to, let me, one more try. If anybody knows how I spawned that other me, I, I really want to know. Like, it's 
probably a lot. There might be more secrets in this game that even I don't know. That's, that's one of the fascinating things about this game. There's, there's a lot of weird hidden stuff. Yes, there is, Parker. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, it's so tiny. Okay, I don't think it's holding a circle. I don't know how that happened. I don't get it. Whatever, I'll just let this mushroom crush everyone. It's another one of these tiny lands with tiny people. I love how willing they are to fall off the edge. And then they just kind of rain into the abyss. It's beautiful. And then they rain back from above. From the above. Look at them drop like rain. It's beautiful. And some of them just fall off the edge again! Ah, what a beautiful game. Alright, so that is, that is Mercury, and I, I really liked it.